Okay, so my name is Jalissa Bermudez, and I did my, um, my last research paper over rape. Um, so I am going to go over a couple, like, of the rape environments that are, like, known for, like, the more common occasions. Um, it doesn't necessarily, um, occur in, like, a specific location, but in a, like, a vulnerable state of mind. Um, there are different environments that can lead to rape incidents without there being any intent in that happening. There's, like, on a date... Um, rape in a workplace, uh, marital rape, and then with, with from a stranger. All right, so then the first one is going to be date rape. Um, people usually date to, like, meet new people and, like, find new experiences that aren't harmful. You know, that's not what you're going into, like, thinking about. Um, when on a date, people tend to be more relaxed and excited to, to open up to somebody, especially, like, someone new. You know, you just kind of want to have a good time, all that stuff. Um, leave, like, the bad or, you know, the baggage behind and stuff. Um, being open and vulnerable can lead to miscommunication, what leads to two different, like people being on two different pages pretty much. Um, one thing leading to another when having a good time can sometimes cause like non consensual like situations to occur without even thinking about it, like literally just the person being blind to it while the other person kind of knows that they're manipulating and stuff like that. Um, it is something that people should be aware of and um, more conscious of just because I think we push that to the side. We usually think of like when people go on dates, um, more like they're wanting to do it or you know what I mean? It's kind of expected, but it should be more known that it it's not always like that. That's not always the case. Um, rape in a workplace is the next one. Um, usually like power authority tend to be the most common motivators behind rape in a workplace. That's kind of what I've like seen and like not seen but like stories and stuff I've seen and like heard of and read about and stuff like that um people should take into consideration that these things are real and not just like in movies because like I said before it's kind of like that one thing like oh the boss or whatever um goes over like goes and takes advantage of like his secretaries or whatever anything like that um another thing is like people should not um fear speaking up about these situations just like I said because it's usually a boss or you know someone higher up that it's like you're scared that people aren't going to believe you or anything like that um there should be more consequences for the rapists within the company and their community when situations do happen but the only way that will happen is if people speak up which i know sometimes can be hard like it's different for everyone but speaking up kind of is the only way that I don't want to say you'll be heard, but it's a better chance of you being heard if you do speak up to have consequences for the person that did that to you or anything like that, you know. Um, rape within marriage is another thing, too. Um, people are usually obviously vulnerable because they've been with that person for however however long they expect that to be their life partner, you know, their best friend, their caretaker, all that stuff. Um, most of the time it is kind of blindsided you blinded by love or whatever it may be and you know it can switch just just as fast um it's hard for people to understand that marital rape is a real thing just because people assume like oh they're married you know whatever they do that all the time well no sometimes it could be like um like a love law situation or you know what i mean also going back to like the um motivate like motivators by like power and authority things like that you know sometimes people want to feel in control or whatever um marital marital rape causes fear um of living like with their rapist unlike other situations it's kind of just like okay if it happens i'm not gonna say it's just just as better but if it happens it's you kind of know you're a little safer going home and stuff like that but whenever it happens within a marriage um a person never really feels safe, you know, their safe place is taken away from them and stuff like that. So that is another thing that people need to be aware of and kind of just like trust and believe those that do speak up and kind of defend them because people tend to overlook it. Um, the last one is um, rape with, like by a stranger. Um, this is different from the other rape cases, obviously, because it you weren't you weren't trying to be vulnerable pretty much like it kind of just happened so fast and like it's not like you were trying to meet somebody new or you know what I mean it was someone you already knew it wasn't anything like that it could have been like a kidnapping um anything like that walking home you know 
or taking a run after work, whatever. It just kind of happens, and it's scary, but it's true. It, we've, like, heard so many cases about it. Um, it does cause, like, a different kind of fear just because you don't know how it happened, first of all. It probably happened so fast, you, you know what I mean? Can't really put the pieces together in a sense. Um, and, like, other, other um, instances kind of, like, with the work thing or like marital rape you know who your rapist is and like looking back at it if you kind of think about it you can kind of see little signs and put it together you know what I mean it kind of makes you more aware of it but when it's with a stranger you don't see those little pieces and those steps that led to that so it could cause more fear because it is the unknown you know people don't really expect for that to happen on their everyday normal life so it does cause like a different a different type of fear, I would say. Um, the main effects from rape are the like many mental like disorders, kind of just like post traumatic stress, anxiety disorder, you know, stuff like that. Um, it does also cause, in some instances, like physical, physical um, changes. I would say. Um, I know there's some instances where people have gotten like raped or beaten so bad to where they can no longer have kids, or you know what I mean. They're body parts just don't look the same stuff like that um that is something else to kind of take into consideration that it it does change a person's life forever you know so we need to be more um empathetic to it and stuff like that but yeah in no way am I trying to defend or anything I just think I would like to kind of understand more of um the why and like the how and stuff like that um just to kind of try to be more knowledgeable about the situation and to try to spread the like knowledge about it to prevent it as much as possible because it is something terrible that shouldn't happen but yeah thank you